So there are two surgeries that kind of like go hand in hand. All right. So that's why I'm actually discussing the two of them together. That's the isolate cell resection and isolate cell transplant. So it could be that your isolate cell have some problems, so they're just resecting it. Okay. They could be that they are resecting it to still transplant you another one. Or it could be that they are resecting you to transplant to another person. Do you get it? So these surgeries, they actually go hand in hand like that. So isolate cell resection, uh, we'll, we'll be discussing it differently. They'll be talking about isolate cell transplant differently. So I came across isolate cell resection when I was reading about what insulinoma, which is like a pancreatic tumor. All right. So this pancreatic tumor was the one that, yes, the pancreatic tumor necessitated what? You cutting out. You're doing a surgery to remove the tumor, so you cut out some isolates of Langerhans cells from the pancreas. Okay, so that's just what isolate cell resection simply means. So let's define it. Isolate cell resection is what a surgical removal of pancreatic isolate cells. Those are the isolates of Langerhans. Indications: When will you want to remove isolates of Langerhans cells? When there's insulinoma, that's an insulin-producing tumor. When there's gastrinoma, that's a gastrin-producing tumor. When there's what? Glucagonoma, that's a glucagon-producing tumor. All right? When there's other pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors like that, okay? Then if there's refractory hypoglycemia, that's a low blood sugar level, right? It's going and coming and all of that, okay? So that's it. What are the surgical approaches? You can be doing what? Open pancreatic resection. It could be laparoscopic. It could be robot assisted. It could be what? Enucleation. All right. It could be distal pancreatectomy. All right. Then talking about the isolate cell transplant now. Uh, it's basically what they are trying to transplant a purified isolate of cells from a donor to a, what do they call it? Receiver, right? A donor to a receiver. So uh, I didn't actually bring a picture here, but just to know what this one now, they basically take isolate of Langan cells from somebody else and they put it to another person. So what is the indication? If somebody has type 1 diabetes mellitus, you might want to do this type of surgery for them. If somebody has what? Chronic pancreatitis, you might want to cut out some cells and replace with good ones. If there was total pancreatectomy, this is a way of trying to balance things up. The, if there's isolate cell failures, all right? So you can see it. patients with pancreatitis, the isolated native isolate of Langerhans cells, and they actually were transplanted into the side. You get. So what are the types? It could be allogenic. Allogenic, that's you are getting from another person. It could be autologous, where they are taking your own cells. Let me say they want to remove the, a large part of pancreas, and they found out that that part of pancreas has some good cells. So they remove the cells before they did the surgery. They now replace it again. That's autologous. It could be zonogenic. That's from a non-human source. Transplant procedure is just simply, you collect the isolate cells and you isolate and purify them. You now infuse the isolate cells into the liver or pancreas, okay? Then you now immunosuppress the person just to prevent the immune system from rejecting the cells, okay? So benefit is there will be increased, there will be improved glucose control, there will be reduced insulin dependence. That's if the person was on insulin therapy. This will now at least will replace some cells that will now start producing more native insulin. You get there will be enhanced quality of life and it's a potential cure for type one diabetes, right? So that's it for the two surgeries.